eyes are so important to what we create. Well, you've lived a sighted life and all of a sudden you're, you're losing your vision. I mean, that's very scary. Henry Ford is trying to figure out ways that we can restore vision. Visual prosthetics, which is also known as bionic eye, aims to restore sight to the blind. People are able to see and their brain is able to process what is going on around them in the world. We began pursuing visual neuroprosthetic devices about 20 years ago. The level of sophistication of prosthetic devices is such that you need people from a whole host of disciplines. We've developed over the last century an international reputation in many of our clinical areas. This allows us to bring researchers and clinicians from all over the world to participate in delivering the best medicine we possibly can. There are efforts in 11 countries. There are probably 40 to 50 active programs around the world. They share what they can, and that collaboration accelerates progress. Chuck Jordan from General Motors and Tom Gale from Chrysler and I got together with Dr. Hesper to uh, decide what can we really do, what kind of a contribution can we really make to eye research and we decided that maybe a car show would be a great way to do it. The vehicles are judged based on design, not in the way they look or their authenticity. And we all come together with other designers throughout the industry and talk about what our eye sees and what we feel because of what we're seeing. Eyes on Design with the North American Auto Show is a very unique involvement in that we are bringing our designers in from around the world. Nobody has designers just judging the cars, so we thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us to give the show a really different twist. We put away our, our, our knives and our daggers for the day and, and, uh, and get together and, and have fun, but also help people experience the sculpture we created. When I think about automotive design, I think about the amazing palette they have to create new. At Henry Ford, we think of research in the same way. We've combined a collaborative spirit of physicians and researchers to develop the most innovative healthcare we possibly can. The restored vision is still far away from the normal vision. So we have to work hard to restore full vision. I wanted to work with a group that is at the forefront of technology and research. At Henley Ford, I could fabricate my own microelectro designs and in the future, eventually, I'll test them in the clinical trials. Bionic eye, I suppose, is synonymous with sensor technology that we'll use in vehicles now. And it's an interesting connection there. You're taking an inanimate object in a, in a vehicle and giving it a sense of its environment and a sense of its relationship to that environment in the same way that you'll give a, a, a sight-impaired person the ability to see. Beauty, to a large extent, depends on our visual perception. On the other hand, it, the sculptural qualities uh, are tactile, and so we can appreciate the sculptural quality of cars with our hands. Oh, I love those ones from the 50s, the late 50s, with those huge fins and the big cool tail lights. I love watching the blind judges touch a vehicle, and I would love nothing more than someday for, for them to be able to take those gloves off and actually see what they've been touching. <laughs>